This QuickOffice tutorial is for QuickOffice Premiere for Symbian S60 3rd and 5th edition devices. This lesson will tell you about the options you have available to organize your files using the QuickOffice File Manager. QuickOffice will list other file types, including PDF files, in addition to Microsoft Office files. When you open QuickOffice and look at your list of files, you'll notice that the appropriate QuickOffice icons will display for your compatible Office files. Additionally, if any of your files is not a Microsoft Office file, but there is an application installed on your device that will enable you to open that file type, the appropriate icon will be displayed, and you may select that file from the QuickOffice File Manager to open it in its corresponding application. Only the supported file types will be opened in QuickOffice. Notice that as you scroll through and select Documents, Folders, and Zip Files, the currently selected file or folder's properties are animated to provide you with additional information. When you select a file or folder, the view will animate the newly selected item from a single line display to a dual line display. For files and folders, the second smaller line shows the last modified timestamp, and for files, it also displays the size. If the file is a read-only file, the second line will contain a small read-only icon to indicate that the file is set with a read-only attribute. If the properties information in the second line extends beyond the width of the display, the content will be displayed as a scrolling marquee to allow you to see the entire contents of the file properties. To navigate through your folders in the QuickOffice File Manager, use the scroll keys or tap and drag on touchscreen devices. When navigating into or out of a folder, the file list view animates the action with a horizontal animation to give you a visual feedback for your action. You can sort files in the file list by name, date, size, and type. Choose Options, Sort File List By, and choose from one of the four options. The file list will then display in the selected order. Files are always displayed in ascending order by the selected parameter and folders are displayed first. To create a new subfolder within the folder you are currently viewing, choose Options, New, Folder. To rename a file, select the desired file and choose Options, File, Rename. Enter the new file name and press OK to change the file name. You can delete a file from your device in the QuickOffice file list. To delete a file from a memory location, select the desired file and choose Options, File, Delete. You can copy a file in any memory location on your device to another memory location using the QuickOffice File Manager. Select the file you wish to copy and then choose Options, File, Copy. A dialog will appear where you can select a memory location and browse to the folder where you wish to copy the selected file. In the same way that you can copy files to other locations in your device's memory, you can move files to new locations. Select the file you wish to move and then choose Options, File, Move. A dialog will appear and you may select a memory location and browse to the folder where you wish to move the selected file. Depending on your device capabilities, configuration, and network connectivity, the QuickOffice File Manager allows you to use your device's messaging, email, Bluetooth, infrared, mail for exchange, or file upload capabilities to send your documents to other people, devices, and computers. To see the options that are available to you, select a file and choose Options, File, Send. QuickOffice offers zip file support directly from the File Manager. In addition to showing the normal folder structure and files, zip files are displayed in the file list view as browsable folders with a distinguishing zip icon. You can open these zip folders and browse their content directly without first having to unzip the contents in a separate location. QuickOffice supports the following features with regards to zip files. When a single file is selected to be opened from within the zipped file, only that file is uncompressed and opened. Files opened within a zip file will be opened in read-only mode. Those files can be edited and saved as a new file. The same is true for files within your zip files that are already set as read-only. When you save the file as a new file, it will be writable. Please note that files and folders cannot be moved, copied, or saved into or deleted from the zip file. Nested zip files, that is, zip files within zip files, zip files with passwords, or split or fragmented zip files are not supported at this time. QuickOffice provides delete, move, 
copy and send as functionality on files but not folders. Because zip files are treated as folders, this functionality is not available for zip files from the main menu. However, from within the zip archive, you can use the save archive functionality to create a copy of the archive. Now that you know how to organize your files within the QuickOffice File Manager, please view our other tutorials on www.quickoffice.com to learn how QuickOffice can make you more productive while you're on the go.